So there you have it, a 20 inch 2009 iMac. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. In front of me, I have a 2009 iMac. Uh, the one you'll notice with a, a black back, not a, this is before they moved to aluminium. Anyway, the cli uh, a client of mine was given uh, this machine instead of it being thrown in the bin. Uh, his original purview of this was, can you just delete the hard drive? Um, after doing some, after finding out what date this was, uh, I recommended that I basically go and change the hard drive as this will most likely have the original hard drive that came with it. And that's a time of making this film about 13 years old. I am going to go and upgrade it to an SSD and just do some general maintenance on this thing to make it go a bit further because, you know me, I like you know, you can't throw away this old equipment. You can easily get a few more years worth of service out of it. As you can see here, I've already disassembled it, which is a bit weird because you probably saw in the title that this was a disassembly. However, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and reassemble it. And, uh, and, and uh, if you want to know how to disassemble it, you can just play it in reverse. So probably the first and easiest thing to do is to replace the CMOS battery, which, again, 13 years old, I think well past its, uh, well past its sell by date. That's the easiest thing. To remove the hard drive out of here, I've already taken out the two uh, connectors. If you look at I fix it to remove this, they would say, say give this a swift pull up, which of course I did, and the thing came off. I loosened these two screws ever so slightly, they're T8 screws, and it enables me to then basically to to pull the hard drive out of there. But before I do, I just want to disconnect. There's a temperature sensor which I have to transfer across. And uh, if I just do that, and then this old hard drive, oop, the, uh, the sticky tape which is holding on. I'm replacing this with a crucial SSD. Uh, what I found, this is probably not the best way of installing these. You should really have a cage that converts a three and a half to a two inch drive so it can have the same mountings however as there were no moving parts in these are uh, in these drives the the need to secure these down securely is is less important i'm not saying it's unimportant but i'm just saying it's less important so what i'm going to do is first of all if we peel up this sticker we can see that the temperature sensor is going on there and just peel that off there if you do not connect this to the new hard drive okay and all it is is a is a little sensor basically the fans inside the computer will go um will go a bit mad and you'll have to install a bit of software called smc fan control so with that one foot installed i can place that in there and I can go and connect the I can connect the two SATA cables, SATA, SATA, potato, patata, and that that drive will sit perfectly securely in there. Okay, without me doing anything. As I said before, what I recommend is with this temperature sensor is that you place that temperature sensor there. Actually, to reattach that temperature sensor to there. Okay, now the hard part. We're going to have to go and reinstall this screen. Getting this screen on, which is just here, is probably the hardest thing. It's one of those things that you need three hands to do. 
with, especially when you're taking it off. But I'll explain. If we angle the screen on this corner, there are four uh, cables that need to be reconnected to there and to there. And even putting these on with two hands, well, with one hand holding the screen and another trying to connect is a little bit tricky. When you lay this screen down, you've got to make sure that, especially this cable here, sits snugly in the gap so it's not in any way pronounced and it doesn't affect this fan. Same with these ones here. You want to make sure that they're not pushing onto the back of the screen when you close it down. So if we go and slowly go and go and lower this down and as this is lower we can now screw this screen down and of course as you will probably notice the screen here is covered in dust of course when I blew out the dust when I was taking it out it of course went absolutely everywhere uh, should have done that outside. Oh, once the screen has been reinstalled, there are two connectors you need to put in. You need to reattach the data cable, which is just here. Of course, need T2, two T6s. We also need to reattach the screen's uh, temperature sensor again. Otherwise, alarm bells will go off. So now we're ready to put the chassis back on. When putting the chassis back on, it's recommended to, uh, I remove the, the microphone from the top of the chassis, uh, which of course I've now, before I put it back on, uh, I need to make sure that that is secure. Here, of course, is the, the top chassis that goes over this um, however to make it easy if I flip this over and place this just above here I should be able to very easily reattach the microphone to the top of here use the residual adhesive there before I put this back in, of course, it's wise to uh, just tuck in the cable that's there. And now all I need to do is do this. And we are almost finished. before we uh, and yes someone gave me a screen cleaner that is actually a plush like animal so there you have it a 20 inch 2009 iMac which is all ready to have El Capitan installed on it and um, oh actually I tell you what, what there's one thing I forgot and that's the final thing that is the drawer that fits over the ram at the bottom with the Phillips Phillips head screw at the bottom yeah that is the most important thing without removing this first you can't take the rest of this off <sighs> anyway if you have found this video useful and if you have managed to recycle a uh, old iMac and give it a new lease of life then please leave me a comment down below click the like button click the subscribe button if you enjoy some of these tech videos and I will see you all in the next video ciao